Hi everybody, I'm Moon and welcome to Moondas Life Handmade. Today I'm very excited to be part of this collaboration that is being hosted by Dona from Creative by Nature and Sandra from The Show Instead. They got together a few YouTubers to do this collaboration and the theme is to do boho or modern farmhouse DIYs. Now I know Dona for a very very long time and I really love her DIYs, her artwork and have done a lot of challenges and hosted challenges with her and I'm so happy to be part of this collaboration today. Sandra, I love her DIYs, she's a specialist with especially the farmhouse style DIYs. So do check out both the channels. I'll put the link to both the ladies' channels in the description box of my video and also link to the playlist where you will find all the YouTubers of today's collaboration with their wonderful DIYs. The playlist is going to be awesome. You must see it because the only rule for this collaboration was to think out of the box and do something that nobody else is doing. So you are bound to find some fresh ideas for DIYs and decor. My today's DIYs, I've done two DIYs. One is boho. Yes, it's boho. It's Scandinavian, it's modern and it would be perfect for a farmhouse decor. And I love the colors. It looks like clay, looks like terracotta, but no clay involved and I love how it turned out. My second DIY is very much nature inspired. It somehow reminds me of the morning a uh, sunrise glow, the colors and nature, the free spirit, the beauty of nature. It's an artwork but it's so simple anybody can do it. If you're new to this channel, a big hi. I love to do a lot of DIY. I love to do a lot of trash to treasure, high-end tubes, take something very ordinary and turn it into something beautiful and useful anything related to home within budget and if you love such content please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button given below the video and do hit that little notification bell beside it so that you're notified each time i post my video for this diy i'm starting with two pieces of corrugated cardboard because they have the strength and uh, can be cut in any uh, size and shape easily and uh, they have a good strength which can work just as a wood as far as decor goes. I've taken the same width here and I've drawn a not exactly a semicircle but nearly I want to make that a uh, rainbow look which is a very nice and specific for boho and Scandinavian decor. I want to keep that rainbow look so it's basically a inverted u shape so i've got three u shape like this pattern drawn out in pencil so because my width is about 17 centimeters so each uh, shape is three centimeters wide so three centimeters and this is three centimeter so i'm going to cut a similar pattern here now while cutting I have always said when, whenever we uh, work with thermocol and cut uh, our cardboard, we must always use a very sharp knife to cut it, otherwise we'll destroy it. So layer by layer, first I make the groove and then go ahead and cut it. Be careful while handling sharp knives otherwise it's a lovely project to work with so now that I've got this shape I have taken another cardboard piece now I'm using two cardboard pieces so as to give this thing a little strength as well as a bit of width depth I'm going to mark it and cut this piece also out now here are the two pieces, I'll later glue this piece over the back piece. Now for the front piece that I've cut out, I want to make the groove so that the three uh, 
pieces of the rainbow they look separate so I need a groove in between so again with the sharp knife I'm going to cut only halfway through the cardboard not the full depth of the cardboard just halfway through very carefully along the curves Next I took a brush with a, a tip that is not so sharp neither too blunt and I'm just trying to clear up this groove. A corrugated cardboard has got five layers here so I'm just cleaning up two layers out of this groove. Similarly, I'll make another groove here. Now all the grooves are ready. Now I'm going to add some PVA glue here or wood glue and glue these two pieces together for more strength and the thickness. Now this edge looks very unneat, untidy. So now I want to keep, keep this natural color which is very close to uh, wood or terracotta therefore has this bohemian vibe about it. So from the same cardboard, I'm trying to peel off the outer brown paper cover. Now because it's the same color, I can use it very well to cover these edges. So just a little patiently and Peel it as intact as possible. Now here is how it looks with all the edges neatly covered. It looks like one piece and it's really strong. Now I have marked here using a ruler about one centimeter from this flat edge and midpoint of this like this is three centimeters so at 1.5 centimeters uh, that is in midpoint of this and one centimeter from the edge I have marked five points like this. Now taking anything sharp I'm using an owl or a huge needle which has a sharper end and I'm going to poke holes through this this is what I love about cardboard they're so easy to work with so I've got holes through this neat five holes now Next thing I mix some yellow, red and white to get this pale orange color. It's nice and soft and I'm going to paint the outside, the outer rim in this color. Not going towards the edge, not intending to be very neat 
just giving this colored hue to this. For the inside, I decided to add pure white. As you see, I'm going a little blotchy towards the side so that it merges with the cardboard color. And then I'll come back and paint white in the center. I also decided to use some pale yellow in this just to make it stand out. Now to get more sense of depth, I've just watered down some black, a very dilute one and I'm just going it inside the groove, just lightly, not much. Just to enhance that feeling of depth inside. So that once it dries, everything gets a shade deeper than the uh, elevated portion. And I also made a hole on the top for hanging. Now I'll have to wait till this dries. The next step will be making a tassel. I'm going to make five tassels for each hole. And I'm using this chunky, not so chunky, it's an eight ply loose uh, yarn. And it is in pale red pinkish pale color uh, which is really soft and I like it now for making tassel I have a simple rule I take a cardboard piece of the length as I desire for my tassel then I take a smaller piece of yarn of the same color and keep it like this along the top edge then I start winding the yarn starting from the bottom going over this uh, including this loose small piece of yarn and then I keep winding it so about at least 30 to 40 times or as uh, bushy or thin the tassel is required. I have bound this yarn about 40 times. I'll cut in the bottom part like this and on the top here is the loose thread that I had kept it and I'm going to tie a really tight knot here. Double knot. As tight as possible. Really really tight. And this is the bottom part just cut the yarn here or with scissors or with blade now take the cardboard piece out here is the top side where I put the knot and just hold it down now taking another piece of the similar colored yarn I'll take a little longer piece yes I'll usually like to place it so that it matches till the end and come here and then tie it all around it and then make knots tight double knot and this will just mix up with the rest of the tassel and whatever is unruly, just snip it off to get a neat look. So here is one tassel ready. Similarly, I'll make four more tassels. This knot that was on the top, I'll bury it in. I'll just pull this thread and the knot will gradually go inside and push it through this point 
so that the tassels look really neat so now once this is done I'll arrange these in five different levels here and here like this and using the same yarn I'm going to go ahead and attach each one with the holes in this piece I'm going to add a knot here a knot on the top side also like this and then I'll push the yarn in from the front Now bringing the knot right here on this edge, I'm going to tie the knot at the back. I'll cut it in the end. I'll cut all these extra pieces in the end. So I have to attach the rest. Now at the back side, I tied the knots and I've secured it with some tape. I even added a loop on the top so that I can hang it and this is ready for decoration. How can boho be complete without botanicals, without free spirited art? Let's create some art now. wild and free. I love how my today's DIYs turned out. The colors are so pretty. The texture, the feel of earth, nature, it's just beautiful. I like both my DIYs. Do let me know how did you like my today's DIYs. I hope you enjoyed them. Do let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it and subscribe to my channel. I want to thank Donna and Sandra for getting me into this collaboration with them. And I'll see you all very soon in my next DIY, in my next video. Until then, be positive, be creative and be happy. Thank you, everybody.